on to the school selection section of the 23-24 FAFSA. Your FAFSA will be saved up to this point. Select Tennessee and enter the first word of your high school's name, for example, Springfield, and click search. All potential matching schools will appear. Select your high school from the list and click continue. Confirm your high school information and click continue. It is now time to enter the colleges you want to receive your FAFSA. Students may add up to 10 colleges per submission. Our advice is to add colleges you have applied to or are in the process of applying to. You can always add more later. There are several ways to add colleges. For example, select Tennessee, enter the city of your college, and click search. All potential matching colleges will appear. Click the box beside the college you want to send your FAFSA to. If you need to add additional colleges, scroll up and repeat the process. When you're done, click continue. Select a housing plan for each college and click continue. If your plans change, no worries, but you must select a housing plan for each college to move on. Onto the dependency status section of the FAFSA. Your FAFSA will be saved up to this point. Our examples reflect responses of the typical high school senior. First, student, what is your marital status? Select single and click continue. Student, do you have children? No. Student, do you have dependents who live with you that you financially support? No. Click continue. Review the following five questions. Student, are you on active duty? Are you a veteran? Since you turned 13, were both parents deceased? Were you in foster care or were you a dependent or ward of the court? Are you an emancipated minor? Does someone like a grandparent have legal guardianship of you per a court in Tennessee. If none of these apply, click the box beside none of the above and click continue. On or after July 1st, 2022, were you homeless or at risk of being homeless? If this does not apply, select no and click continue. If you have answered no or none of the above to all of the questions, you are considered a dependent student, which means FAFSA now requires parent information to continue. Select, I will provide information about my parent and click continue. This concludes the overview of the school selection and dependency status sections of the FAFSA. The next video will cover parent demographics. As always, if you have any questions, please contact your outreach specialist.